Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Boston Tactics video. We are here in the workshop because we got another build video today. It's kind of along the lines of body armor. It does protect you, so you could consider it body armor, I guess. But today we're going to be making, or attempting to be making, hopefully it turns out pretty good, the iconic Captain America shield. So unfortunately we don't have any access to vibranium today. I, I called up Stark, but he didn't have any left over and Wakanda's running a little short right now. So we're going to attempt to make our own bulletproof. It won't be vibration resistant because I don't think that's physically possible, but anyways, we're going to attempt to make a bulletproof. Maybe it'll work in battle. Maybe we can throw it a little bit, but anyways, we'll jump into our little game plan after we run it through the intro. All right guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, so before we jump into the actual construction and the build of Cap Shield, we're gonna take a quick gander at some Google images to kind of find some inspiration for what we want to accomplish, what kind of specific designs we want to see in our shield in our end product. So let's see what we find. All right, so from those Google images that we just saw with the front, back, and the side profile view of Cap's shield, I was able to come away with three main construction goals and aesthetic goals that I want to accomplish during this build. All right, so here is goal number one. All right, so goal number one is basically for our shield to be completely bulletproof. We want it to stop all the bullets that we throw at it, and we want it to be really strong in relative to its weight, which brings us to goal number two. Goal number two is for the shield to be a manageable weight. We want it to be light enough so we can handle it uh, without too much strain and for us to possibly be able to throw the shield, do those Captain America frisbee throws and take out some bad guys. And finally, goal number three is for it to look aesthetically like Captain America's shield. There's no point in getting just a dome with ceramic and yeah, all that garbage. We want it to look exactly like Captain America's shield with the colors and the shape of the shield and the size. So that is going to be more of our aesthetic goal. And that concludes our three goals of this build. All right guys, so the game is set. We got our three construction goals that we're gonna be always coming back to in the duration of this video. And it's gonna help guide the overall construction of Cap's shield. So I think I have the perfect base plate material kind of thing. And that is this. So I believe we have the perfect template. As you saw right there in that quick little B-roll of this disc that we have, this is off of a disker that you would disc and turn up soil in your fields. And basically it is inherently hardened steel because you don't want it to break, bend, crack when it hits rocks in the field. So if it's hardened steel and it has that natural convex shape, then I think it's going to be the perfect, perfect uh, material for Captain America's shield. It has very similar dimensions, I would assume, and that perfect convex shape that is going to help ricochet bullets, and I believe it's going to be really strong. And actually not even that thick. It's not too unmanageably heavy, so... I think it's going to perform exactly how we want it to. At least I'm hoping it will. I, I'm pretty confident. I'm confident in this one. So it took a lot of grinding and some, yeah, just a lot of time with the grinding wheel. Then I ran it over with a brush. I had to weld in a little centerpiece here because there, there was a hole for the attachment point onto the actual disker machine itself. So it took a little work to get it up to snuff, but I think it is ready to go and we can finally move forward in, 
the actual aesthetic part of Captain America's shield, which includes paint and that cool leather strapping that is going to help fasten your arm to the shield. So let's jump right into the actual construction. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we got everything we need. We got some red and blue spray paint that is going to make our shield look fantastic. We got some painter's tape that we're gonna need to, I don't know, I guess draw those lines on our shield, get some crisp separation between our colors. And we got some leather strapping from the local thrift shop, which is the perfect place to go. Look at that, 50 cents, let's go. So that's gonna be our back strapping to fasten our arm. And I guess from here, we'll use a Sharpie and we'll draw out some lines for our paint. So let's jump into it, let's go. All right guys, so before we jump into the actual paint job of the build, I want the paint to be the last thing that I do on this build so that I don't screw it up while I'm working on something else. So before we jump into the paint job, we're going to work on fastening these leather belts onto the inside of our shield so that we can have some handles and also gain that aesthetic of the shield, which is our third goal of the build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these bolts with nuts, just like so, and I'm going to chop at these bolts so it's just sticking out just a little bit and then I can weld those threaded pieces onto the inside of our shield where I can then fasten the leather strapping uh, via the nuts and into the pattern that Captain America has on his shield. And then from there, I'll use the smaller stuff as the piece that actually wraps around the arm and then I'll insert a little buckle somewhere. And I think it'll be really cool. I think this idea should be really strong. It'll keep your arm nice and secure to the shield and it will be aesthetically pleasing because I'll have those little rivet kind of looks. So I'll jump into cutting these, then I'll pull out the welder and we'll weld these guys on into the pattern of the shield. All right guys, let's, I'll catch you on the flip side. Alright guys, so the welding is done and I think it turned out pretty solid. So here's a gander at the finished product of the little bolts that we welded on there. Here we are, so we have our pattern all mapped out with the main holds here and then just the aesthetic pieces here. And yeah, take a gander at this. That's what I'm talking about. So that's gonna give us a crisp finish. So we're going to toss the belt, obviously. First, we're gonna to toss the belt over these bolts and then we can bolt it in from the top. All right, this is starting, it's starting to turn out guys. After we get these leather strapping on, I think it's gonna look sick. Right, I'll run it to a time lapse so you guys can just get a bird's eye view of how I'm gonna get the strapping on. Right, catch on the flip side. can see right there we got a nice silver paint job on the inside of our shield which I didn't explain before but I thought that normal kind of rustic looking metal didn't look as clean as I wanted it to so that silver paint job really brightened it up and made it look prime and then we put that leather strapping on so it, that contrast between the leather color and the silver looks superb so right behind me here it is so take a gander at that, guys. We got our nice leather strapping on our shield with this nice silver paint job. Guys, it is looking clean. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into the rest of the paint job on the front side, which is gonna take a lot more effort, a lot of painter's tape, and just a lot of time and patience. All right, so I'll just jump into a time lapse. You'll see a minute long segment of it, which took days to complete. All right guys, I'll see you after that.
right guys, the Captain America shield is complete and it looks insane. So without further ado guys, this is Captain America's shield bottom tactic stack. Enjoy. So there you have it, the finished Captain America shield, made out of a disc or disc, which actually worked pretty amazing. There's the leather strapping, the solid paint job on the front. And guys, that concludes part one of this Captain America shield making build. So part one really accomplished our third goal, which was to match the Captain America aesthetic. And we found the perfect material. And part two is going to really test out Goal number one and two, which is goal one being testing if it's bulletproof, testing its durability in battle, and we're gonna maybe do, set up some fight courses and see how I can swing this thing around in a little longer than just filming an outro for a video. So uh, we'll see how effective it is and if the weight is gonna be a problem or if it'll be fine. All right guys, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe down below, hitting that little bell so you get notified when part two is released on the tube. All right guys, thanks so much for tagging along on this build and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, comment down below what kind of other builds you'd like to see on the channel. I love making homemade body armor, but I'm also completely open to making some other cool videos such as shields and stuff from movies or TV shows. So uh, without further ado guys, you have a great day and peace out.